Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Here, I've got my guy, Rico, and you guys know that we're starting to breed all the pythons and stuff like that, but actually, not only the pythons, but the Kribos, the mangrove snakes, and a few other snakes start to breed this time of year, too. Last year, Maya, his girlfriend, laid some slug eggs and ended up even getting egg-bound. She's completely fine now, ready to go, so with any luck, Rico can be a dad this year. I've never produced Kribos before, and I am so hoping to do so. Of course, the largest colubrid in Central America. This thing is an absolute beast and he's going in with Maya right now. So wish me luck. Just checking on my spotted pythons that are starting to breed as well. And uh, this one, I guess, is uh, a little hungry because it's uh, ow, it doesn't feel really good either, to be honest with you. But what happens is in the beginning of the breeding season, they really turn on to food because those females are like, I've got to get a lot of energy in me so I can produce eggs. And she is squeezing me and got me right in the uh, the wrist there. That's a pretty tasty spot too. Come on, girl, let go. Oh, oh, come on, girl, let go. Let go, please. Oh God, right here, this tooth that's going right there. Oh my gosh, that is, oh. What are you thinking, girl? Let's go. Let go. Ooh, there's no real good way to do this. Oh, oh my gosh. Ah, I'm untangling her. She's just twisting and twisting and twisting. Okay, 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 okay. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. I usually have to rinse these guys to get them off. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. This is a painful one just because of the area it's in. There you go, sweetheart. Okay, we're done. We're done. Don't don't bite me again. Don't bite me again. Don't bite me again. Don't bite me again. Oh my God! She's look at this thing. So, look at No, she's a, she's a, okay. I'm closing this cage. All right. Ah, uh, thanks. Good job, Mary. <laughs> Feed that darn snake. <laughs> All right, guys, you know Lori works so hard and she's such an important part of everything that I do. She wanted to buy a new vehicle and uh, I was like, yeah, sure, let's go ahead and do it. So she went looking around and she actually found this vehicle, but it was out in Maryland. So I am trying to surprise her by getting it here without her knowing and surprising her with her new car. But uh, the truth is it's really hard to get around her. She is really good at figuring out and I'm not so good at being sneaky. So with that said, I'm gonna take this new vehicle and I'm gonna see if I've surprised her. I have a feeling she may know something's going on, but nevertheless, let's go see what she does. Again, Lori is really good at kind of sniffing out this stuff. So she knew I had something going on because I had to add insurance to this car. And she was like, why is there insurance on this car? So regardless, I think that I was able to play it off to where she didn't think I got the car here, that uh, I was just preparing for it in the future. So I'm heading home and hopefully I'll surprise her with the car. I talked to Noah and I said, hey, I'm gonna text you when I get in so you can tell your mom to come out that you have something to show her. So uh, fingers crossed, this all works out. Hey, what's up guys? Got a little leftover broccoli from Christmas. No one wanted it. Big shocker. So we figured we hook the camera up on speedy and uh, do a little, little speedy action. Gotta wait. No, it's gonna bring Nolari out right now. I'm nervous. I don't. Why am I so nervous? I don't normally get nervous about stuff like this. But I hope that she's happy. What am I doing? Walk outside. With my eyes closed. Yeah. Just feel it out. Just feel it out. Your step. There we go. You can what open am your I eyes. Doing? And look up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Are you <laughs> Did you really do that? <laughs> I knew you. I knew she was gonna know that I, I like was doing it, but I thought at least this way I surprised you a little bit. Oh my Look God. at it! It's beautiful. I'm just like those people in the it. commercial. Shut the hell up! <laughs> Go look at it. Go look at your I, I am curious to see. <laughs> look at them ribs. Holy crap! What do you think? 
<laughs> Are you happy? Oh, oh love dang. it. <laughs> Look at this. Heated <laughs> seats? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is wow. crazy. I know. It's like nice. your old car, but it's newer. But it's a little and better. Nicer. Let's hear her. Do you have automatic lights, I'm pretty sure? It oh. does! Auto yeah. lights? Heated mirrors? <laughs> Heated wow. mirrors? Uh, Heated look at mirrors, oh. nice. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Got the backup camera finally. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to use that. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Once you use it, you never go back. Oh my goodness, there's so much going on there. I know I didn't surprise you 100%, but there's no way I get used to too. I can't be sneaky around you. It is true. It's horrible, but I knew you thought I'd have it this morning, so that's why I figured I would surprise you with it today. It was a surprise. I wonder what was taking you so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy uh, Merry Christmas. I love you. <laughs> I, love I hope too. you enjoy it. <laughs> so there it is. Again, uh, not a huge surprise because she. I just am not sneaking up to get around her. But uh, hey, at least it worked out well. And now Lori has a new car. Got a little baby crested gecko hatched out. And this is Mama? Yeah, this is Honey. This okay. is Mom. It, uh, the baby looks nothing like her. <laughs> I know. She's just kind of like a straight color. She's yeah. not. She's pretty, but she's not like got a ton of cool color. The yeah. baby is adorable. The baby looks more like the dad to me. Okay. Yeah. Let's see this little guy. A more creamy color on him though than the dad. They are so fast as babies. It's crazy. Well, come here, little monkey. There you go. Look at that little thing. Holy cow. That thing has got tons of pattern compared to mama. Oh, yeah. So she's just a flame. This one's definitely a harlequin, potentially ah. a extreme harlequin. We'll oh my see. gosh, that is so cool. So it's always so cute to hatch little geckos. And of course, with one gecko hatching, you said we have another egg that yeah, should be hatching. Yeah, this little one here should hatch with it. So that's pretty cool. Geckos are hatching. Got a lot of gargoyle gecko eggs as well. So uh, it's always adorable to see little baby geckos. Not a whole lot has changed over here at the expansion of the Reptarium as far as the build out goes, but that's about to get going any day now. We've got electrical, that wall comes out in just three or four days, so things are gonna start to heat up. But I wanna bring you guys along on the journey as always and ask your opinion on things. This wall here is gonna be pretty cool because it's a curved wall, right? This is the birthday party room and you can see how it snakes like this and kind of turns like this. Now it's gonna be all rock. This is gonna be a window here that you can see in, but all of this is gonna be rocked out all the way to the edge. And this is where my dilemma is is I was thinking about maybe putting an enclosure right here, a small enclosure that's probably only like 30 inches by maybe 20 inches deep, a boreal, like maybe six or seven foot tall. I could put a couple green tree pythons or emerald tree boas in here and kind of break that rock wall, but I don't know if it's worth it, right? I mean, is it worth to kind of redo this thing, make it work out just for one little cage that's over here? I'm not sure, so I wanted to know from you guys, should I leave it just a rock wall that'd be really cool, rock kind of interesting curve, or should I put an enclosure right here that'll just kind of break that wall a little bit again this is the kind of corner we got the restroom over here we've got the wall over here and then the cages start over here so I don't know if there's any value to it or not so I just really want to know your kind of opinion on it add the cage or don't add the cage go in the comment let me know what you think Time for a little bit of uh, nail clipping. Santana's nails are unbelievably sharp. So we're gonna just go through, do some manicures really quick uh, with this guy coming up first. All right, Bruce, you're up. So we just barely clip off the end of those just to get a little bit of that scratchiness off. That way, when we take these guys out, they don't rip everyone up. Because trust me, he's got sharp little daggers. Again, just like always, we're not restraining the animal tremendously. We're just kind of manipulating it. So it's not uncomfortable. It's not having a terrible experience. I'm sure it's not liking it per se, but we don't want them to get all stressed out. That's for sure. There he is, Savannah is good. And I tell you, just holding him like this, what a radical difference. I mean, he still has claws, he can still climb and all that type of stuff, but it's not digging in every single time. So uh, we're just gonna go through and hit a few of our little animals uh, and get them all manicured up. Damon Hot is definitely in need of some clipping for sure. Because we take flaming hot out a lot, it's pretty important to keep this guy not too sharp, not too much daggers in there. Because kids definitely don't like that at all. And 
the always fun chicken strip is always uh, a lot of entertainment getting this guy out but again we want to have a positive experience so after we wear him out a little bit we'll let him chill out before we even start clipping so he's not having a real bad experience for sure come on buddy you're okay bud you're okay you're okay you're okay it's all right buddy you can see although he's still a little hyper he's gotten so much better compared to just even just a month or two ago. I'm sure he's not done running yet. He is, he's probably still gonna kind of book around a little bit, but overall, pretty impressive to see how far he's come for sure. It's gonna get a much larger enclosure over at the new Reptarium expansion. And uh, I think Santana's actually gonna go in his cage actually. And again, I'm just gonna let him run it out, get a little energy out before we even start. Because again, we don't wanna stress it out when we're clipping his nails. Really not too bad. Their nails are a little sharp, but not terrible right now. Uh, those little clips are gonna be even better. But again, not digging in anything like Santana was by any stretch so chicken strip is amazing and hopefully maybe in a year or so he'll be able to go in with abasuku and maybe we'll get some double head albino melanistic nile monitors how crazy would that be it's all right buddy you're gonna be okay i promise With an animal like chicken strip, again, we always want to have those positive thread experiences, right? So the last thing I want to do right now is just throw it right back in his cage with that memory in his mind. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time with chicken strip, kind of, again, giving him that positive experience so that when I put him back, he's not thinking about getting his nails cut. Although he did really well. He didn't freak out at all. I don't think it was that terribly bad. But you can see the progress with this animal has been so dramatic. I definitely don't want to do anything that would hurt that progress whatsoever. So we'll spend a little bit of time and then uh, that is it for manicuring our reptiles for the day. I mentioned before, guys, that we are starting a podcast. It's going to be called Checking In because you guys all voted and said you thought Checking In would be a good name for a podcast. I'm going to put a link in the description and pin a comment. Could you guys please go subscribe and show that channel some love? Again, no content yet, but in the next few days, myself, Lori, and Noah are going to do a little intro podcast. We need to get to 10,000 subscribers in order to monetize the channel, and obviously it costs money to run things. So if you could help us get to 10,000 subscribers as quickly as we can, then we'll start rolling out podcasts after the first of the year. Again, link in the description and a pinned comment. Please go show that some love. Recap, you like your new car? Yes, I love it. Good. So I surprised you a little bit just with the timing at least, right? Well, how is it, <laughs> you know, why is it that it's impossible to surprise you? I mean, if I, <sighs> I don't know. I just, honestly, it's always been like that. I always like to know what's going on. I know, it's horrible. I literally, when I talked to the insurance people, I said, make sure there's no emails that my wife can see that I added a car to the insurance. And within like a couple hours, she's like, what's this extra insurance on our car? I know, honestly, I thought you got a ticket and raised our insurance. I was freaking out. <laughs> so, uh, so there you have it. Uh, Lori gets a new car and uh, I semi surprise her. Probably the only time I could buy a car for her and uh, not surprise her, so there you go. <laughs> that worked out 50-50. It worked out perfect, because then you saved me having to go get it, so. All right, good, Thank you. well, enjoy your car. <laughs> You guys are sending me so much stuff. This is actually uh, from Justine uh, from Massachusetts. Uh, it's obviously a shirt. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yes. uh, I love it. Who doggy? I've got a handful of who doggy shirts now. Uh, and this, oh yeah, this is awesome. What a ripper. It should have had an A though. It's a ripper. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just kidding with you. That is cool. I'm actually going to wear that shirt right now. I absolutely love it. Myself and some of the crew are actually going to be heading down to the Detroit Zoo for some of the zoo lights. Uh, I love going to zoos all the time and it's really cool to see all the Christmas lights and stuff like that. So we're going to head off and uh, check out the Detroit Zoo's Christmas lights. All right, so we made it to the zoo and now uh, we're just going to go look around, maybe see some animals, see a lot of cool lights and have a good time. Penguin House. 
closed. Why is it closed? I don't know. It's probably because they're sleeping. It's nighttime. Well, I came here for animals. Right, well, there's probably some light. Yeah, look at there's reindeer. Right there. So can we see any animals? Yeah, reindeer. And no, I else. mean I like real animals. Back there. I hope there's some there's animals a, oh, I can there's see. A penguin right there. This is not. I hope there's some animals here because I'm going to be bummed if there's not. Shut I didn't come to the zoo. I came here for the lights. Shut I came up. here for the animals. <laughs> Shut up and enjoy it. It's beautiful. I thought there's animals here. The river otter? The river otter? I don't know. That's what the sign says. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Where? Right there. I don't see anything. There is no river it's otter. It's because it's nighttime. <laughs> a few moments later. It looks like the reptile house is open. Oh, how exciting. Yes, I'm excited. At least we could go see some reptiles. <laughs> so pretty cool. I, I haven't been to the reptile house here in years. It's awesome. I had a good time. At least I got to see some animals. Are you excited about that? Or are you ready to go see some lights? I'm happy that you got to see animals so we can go back outside and see the lights. Okay, so I guess now we're going to see lights. The only thing, the only complaint I have, love this place. Really cool. They've made some big improvements. Some of the enclosures, you can't really see animals though. Really cool enclosures, but the animals kind of are disappeared. Like this one is a perfect example. Uh, what's in here? A black-breasted leaf turtle. A black, what? Black-breasted black leaf turtle. All right, nice exhibits though, I gotta say. Really nice exhibits. And I am back here at the Reptera. Can you do me a favor? Can you watch this video right over here to get my click-through rate up? Here's a playlist you can roll through if you don't mind. Over here is the subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to of Zoe. I promise. I will see you tomorrow.